Did, if you don't like her, let me know in the <laughs> Give comments. Give this video a thumbs down yeah, if, if you, you don't, don't like me. <laughs> if, yeah, if you don't like her and you don't want to see her again, then I can pattern that. Don't worry. You don't ever have to see her again. Just let me know. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? Um, today we are joined by a special guest. That is Selene, my fiance. Um, I've been meaning to get her in a video for a while now, but she works in a hospital, long hours and that. And then come the weekend when she's got some time off, I'm normally sorting out the restock or getting drunk watching the football. But yeah, we're here now. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to get Selene to rate some of my jackets. These, ja these jackets, she hasn't seen all of them before. Um, but yeah, these are jackets in my collection. And yeah, I want the seal of approval from Selene. So yeah, the seal of approval means quite a lot coming from Selene. Like sometimes I will put on a jacket, um, a new jacket that I got, I'm gassed with it. Uh, I'll put it on to go out with Selene and then she'll be like, are you keeping that one? Um, and from there, I know that I'm not keeping that one. Um, Sorry, I'm very honest. <laughs> but yeah. So this one you've seen before, I've had this in my collection for uh, like two years now. Um, and yeah, I really like it. This is a Canada Goose. Uh, I don't know the model actually. I can't remember what it is, but this is Canada Goose with the removable fur. Um, what do you think of this jacket? I like this. You know I like this. Yeah. I always suggest you that like you it? wear this. Why do you like it? It's just, it just looks nice. It fits you well. Um, cool print, goes with a lot. Yeah, it's easy to wear and definitely one of my warmest jackets. Second warmest jacket after this Prada Sherlin that I've got here. But yeah, when it, when I go to Finland, I always bring this jacket with me. Um, yeah, it just fits really nice and it's a well-made jacket. Yeah, it's very classy, I like it. Yeah, I'm a fan of this. It's been in my collection for ages and I can't imagine I'll ever sell this jacket. I'll probably just wear it until it starts breaking. But yeah, that's the first jacket. Oh, uh, can I get a rating out of 10, please? So maybe like you could break it down to like functionality and um, I, don't know, I, I don't know, however you want to score Is it. Is it water resistant or waterproof? Um, uh, go run and get the spray off and we'll, we'll test it out. One sec. All right, we're back. So then just grab the, uh, this spray that we used to like uh, water the plants or whatever. Our bedroom is literally like a jungle. We have um, 11 house plants in our bedroom. And then we have more everywhere else and they all like to be misted so so that's why we've got this spray off but yeah uh let's test it out on the jacket and see uh how water resistant it is i'm guessing there's going to be very little water resistance um yeah ever so slight water resistance on this uh, just spray my arm this is really ironic because there's a plant that lives give it a bit more give it more give it more where this jacket He's is and um, he's told me off in the past for getting his jackets wet and now he's all like, oh, spritz my jacket. <laughs> so, uh, cool. So it's definitely water resistant. You can see the water's sat on top of the jacket, um, but some definitely seeps through. The but like I thought, you, you water resistant. You the fur to get wet though. So if no. you were wearing it with the fur, is the fur removable? Fur is removable. Okay, then I'd say it's pretty functional. Yeah. So I'd probably give it overall yeah i'd probably give it a nine yeah i'd give it i'll give it a nine as well i don't know what would... i don't know what that one is though no because it's not stone island <laughs> if it was stone island i'd probably give it a 10 i can't lie but yeah the fur is removable so if it ever you don't want to get the fur wet so if it ever was raining or whatever take the fur off and you're good but yeah it's a shame these very expensive jackets mm. aren't waterproof they never make them waterproof the only waterproof jackets you get really are like sh those shell yeah, kind of jackets. Yeah, but the thing without... is, with something like this, like it is so warm that, like, if it was waterproof, it would not be breathable at all. Yeah. And like one of the unique selling points of this kind of jacket is that they're very breathable, breathable. as well as warm. So like, even yeah. though you do get warm, you don't get like sweaty and dusty. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this has got a nine out of ten. I don't think we're going to beat that. I can't lie. <laughs> probably yeah, should have done this one last. Yeah, probably should have done it last. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> you might have seen this jacket in my last video or the video before that. This is the Montclair Pokemon collaboration. Montclair uh, Fragment and Pokemon collaboration. 
Uh, I am super gassed with this. When it came in the post, Selene said, uh, I can't remember what you said, but you were like, something along the lines of, oh, you're not going to wear that, are you? Or something like that. Um, what, tell me what you think of this jacket. Like, oh, I think it's cool. Like, the concept is cool. I like Pokemon. I kind of like Montclair. It's not one of my favourite brands. Um, but I like Pokemon. And for that reason, it automatically gets points. I think Come it on. is a slightly shit jacket, though. <laughs> <laughs> to be quite frank. <laughs> uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't really sure on the fit of the jacket when it first came. I feel like this is quite a, a Japanese-style puffer jacket. Uh, where it's just I don't know quite boxy fitting. Mm. Um, the cuffs the cuffs are quite uh, unique, like they're elasticated, but normally this elastication would be like Somewhere on the coming and coming out of the jacket. So like it just looks like the puffer ends here, whereas normally there'd be a little bit of elastication going out from it. And yeah, it's quite a boxy fit, but I'm beginning to like it more and more. It's not my nicest jacket, but I love it. Um, yeah, give me give me your rating out of 10. I'm really sorry, I'm gonna have to be a little bit harsh on this Go one. On. I think the concept is cool. Yeah. I think it's poorly executed. Yeah. Like, I just feel like- It could have been done font, better. Definitely could have been done literally better. Literally, like, sure. they've just used like Arial font to write Montclair Fragment. Like, it's just, it's just a bit basic. I feel like they could have done it a lot cooler. I don't yeah. like all the writing on the back. <laughs> it's not for me. I'm not, not a fan of the fit. I'd probably give it a five. Five? And that's literally only because it's Pokemon. Five. Otherwise, I'd be like, bin. Yeah, if it wasn't Pokemon, I wouldn't be wearing it. <laughs> no, it's um, not a great jacket. All right, so this got a five out of ten. Sorry. Let's move on. Give me your rating out of ten. I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to be a little bit harsh on this one. Go on. I think the concept is cool. Yeah. I think it's poorly executed. Yeah. Like, I just feel like... It could have been done spot. better. Okay, out of all the jackets I've got here lined up, this one here has been in my collection the longest. I've had this for uh, maybe like four years now. This is a Prada sheepskin suede shirling jacket. Um, yeah, I've had this for the longest time. It is ridiculously warm. I love the fit. It's very easy to wear with a lot of things. And yeah, I just really like this jacket. Um, it's one of those jackets where if you take good care of it, it's not gonna, it won't get damaged or whatever. This is, I reckon I'll have this in my wardrobe for the rest of my life. Hand it down to my kids maybe. Um, statement. Yeah, tell me what you think about this jacket. Well, I know how much you like it. Yeah. It's like a duvet. It's really, it is very warm. Like on the odd occasion I've worn it to like take the bins out and stuff. It is very warm. Yeah. Um, mad, mad warm. So comfy. Yeah. So comfy. I Bear do nice. just like, I do just, I'm not 100% sold on the looks. Yeah. On how it looks. And I really? never have been. Really? Um, Damn, I thought, I, like you, liked, I thought no, you liked it more. Well, I like it when you don't have it done up. I think when it's done up, it's a bit like, am I a blazer? Am I a coat? Like, what mm. am I? Like, I think it's a little bit confused. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I, I like, I like Yeah. I like how it looks. Because it looks more like a shacket kind of thing. Like a a shacket? Yeah, it's kind of like a, like a chuck it on jacket. You know? Have you never no, heard that no, I've never heard that before. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So mm. you just chuck it on. I think when it's done up, it's a bit meh. But yeah. overall, I think I'll give it an eight. It's not an, the most functional. An eight. You can't really I'll, I'll, it. I'll take that. I would have given this also an eight. I would have given it a safe eight, but yeah. Uh, Selene is wearing uh, a 1999 ribbed cotton, I don't know, that's not cord, is it? It's oh, no, it's not. Ribbed cotton uh, overshirt. I had one of these before. You probably heard this story. <laughs> had one of these before uh, in a different colorway. It was like more beige, was it? Yeah, it was slightly more beige and it was a smaller size. And it was a smaller size and I sold it and against I, my will yeah i said so then i'm putting the overshirt on the website this weekend i think she didn't really believe me or something because then when i told her oh yeah you know that overshirt that you always wear yeah i sold that she was vexed i think this was maybe like we were still living in our old house she was vexed this was like two years ago i'm not over it this is not quite up to par 
But... So yeah, I had to find another one. I found <laughs> this one. It's the size up and it's a different colorway. So uh, I'm still not out of the doghouse for that no. one. No. But yeah, we move. All right, next jacket. Okay, cool. So this is a piece I recently acquired. It's got the matching trousers. You can't see it. This is the Seal Sucker. Sea Soccer Co. TC Stone Island Blazer matching trousers. Uh, very smart. It's made of this weird material. It's super comfy, it's slightly stretchy. Um, I really like it. And um, uh, what would you say if I decided that I want this to be my wedding suit? Oh. This is my wedding outfit. What do you guys think of this being my wedding outfit? You've really put me on the spot here. Because if you've made the decision and I say oh, I don't like it, mm. are we going to have problems? Um, I mean, obviously you get a say in what I wear, but... Oh, like, I just think the material's weird. Like, what is this? It looks like... It's, it looks like you've... You know, like, say, for instance, if you like painting some furniture or something and then like loads of bubbles got like stuck to it and made the paint dry weird like that's what it looks like mm. yeah but I, I like it because it's a little bit different mm. um so imagine me with a white shirt on black tie i think i'd look smart you would look smart my only yeah. thing with this i feel like it'd be nice if you could get this tailored to be like to sit more like this because i feel like a smart blazer kind of comes down to like here yeah whereas this is sort of somewhere up here and then like it would just i don't know it doesn't sit yeah well, well I, I think me wearing stone down. island to my wedding would um <laughs> speak volumes about me uh everyone you. all my family and friends know me uh for all the stone island i wear and obviously it's i've made a living out of it so i think it would be very me it would be it would be island. appropriate to wear a stone island suit to your wedding yeah i, I think that yeah. they could maybe make better suits but yeah, what do you guys think? Stand out into my wedding or not? I feel I was a bit harsh about the suit. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. It does, it does suit you. Yeah. Like the fit is nice. Yeah, I, th I think it fits me really well. It's just um, maybe I would wear it without the badge. I'd consider I'd consider wearing it without the badge. Yeah. Um, and then maybe sit the badge on for a few pictures just for like a bit of fun. But... Yeah. Right, this next jacket is the Stone Island Nike collaboration made from a Hyperlite Membrena material, Membrena 3 LTC material. Um, I like this jacket because of its functionality. Is that a word? Yeah. Um, it's just like really lightweight and it performs very, very well in rain. So when I go to the post office and it's raining, I like putting this jacket on because it's like really breathable. It's really breathable and I get hot and sweaty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, do, do it on the sleeve, do it on the sleeve. So I can put it up to the camera. Look, big old water droplets. That's so yeah, it, 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 it performs really well in rainy weather and um, it's super breathable, which is good because when uh, yeah, I'm going to the post office. I normally get quite hot and sweaty. So this is a jacket that I wear quite often. Yeah, I really like it. Tell me what you think. I don't like these. Selene so doesn't I, like them. Um, I knew this them. already though. Um, <laughs> I just think that they're really ugly jackets. Why? What, what's, that, what's ugly about it? I don't, I don't like this bit. I yeah. just... That's part of the reason why it's breathable. No, I, I can appreciate that it's functional. Because under here is like a mesh, so the air just, yeah, it's nice and breathable because of these. Yeah. It's just, they're not my favourite. Like, I don't I don't like any of the night collabs. I don't like any of them. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Fair enough. A lot of people don't like any of the night collabs. Mm. I think the colour's nice, but I just... I like the colour as well. I don't know. There's something about it that's not nice. I can't make my mind up. I think it does suit you. I just don't like these collabs. Fair enough. I think they're ugly. Give it a score out of 10. Six. Six. Because it's functional. Like I, I would wear this to do like, 
I don't know, a dog walk or something in the rain. A dog walk. A four hundred and fifty pound, five hundred pound jacket for a dog walk. <laughs> okay. All right. Next jacket. Uh, this is one of the newer ones into my uh, wardrobe. I bought this during summertime, so I got it very, very cheap. I think I paid like 200 pounds or 180 pounds for this. This is a CP Company Nightcra downfield long jacket. Um, tell me what you think. I like this actually, yeah. this is nice. I like a long jacket. Same, same, um, same. I think they look nice, but they also keep you that little bit warmer. Yeah. Um, it looks really good, it fits you nicely. Nice color. It's like a nice navy. Mm. You know, like sometimes navies can be like, um, not blue enough. So they don't look quite black and then they look a bit like a washed black. Whereas this is like a nice navy. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, this is good. Yeah, I like CP. I'm starting to like warm a little bit more to CP. Yeah. I feel like there is this a new season or new? Uh, this would have been 2019, I think. Okay. Yeah, I feel like their newer stuff is like top quality. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. good stuff. Yeah, and what a bargain, 200 pounds. Mm. Mm. Absolute bargain. Uh, it's got these pockets here that I like. Um, I love having these pockets here um, rather than just these pockets mm. because. These are my favourite pockets. Fine, it's just well. it's just more comfortable to like walk around like this. And yeah, this is a size small, so this would probably fit you also. No, I don't think so. It probably it probably swallow me. Try on. The material is like really really soft, which I like about it. Um, it's it's. Just mad comfy. It's mad comfy to wear. This is this is a good match day jacket. It is like good. Like winter match day jacket. Yes. And I, it's blue. Yeah, it's blue. Obviously, I'm a Chelsea fan, <laughs> so come match day, I have to wear blue. You, I would never wear like a red jacket or anything like that come match day. That's bad, bad um, juju, bad superstition. <laughs> what? Yeah. But yeah, give it a rating out of ten. It fits me, so I'm gonna give it a ten. You give it actually giving it a ten. Yeah. Raw the first ten. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> um. So yeah, good stuff. Next jacket is uh. Oh, I can't remember the year. I'm so bad with the years. Like I've been doing this for so long, and I don't understand how I don't remember. It's a lot to remember though. Yes. There's bare numbers and stuff. Mm. But this is either 2014, 15, or 16. I recognise this, I feel like you've this had is, this before. I've had a couple of these before. Okay. Uh, I had a red one ages ago. I remember that. Um, ages ago I had a red one and I loved it, but it was too big for me, it was a size large. This one here is a medium in a black. This came in black, red and uh, grey. Uh, grey, I don't know if it was a khaki one. <laughs> I just sold a grey one on my website and I bought this off uh, Daniele. Oh yeah. Yes, I bought this off a mate in Italy. Uh, so this has detachable gloves that zip out, a detachable balaclava. I'm a sucker for these. Um, you like looking like a Roman, don't you? Yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, d I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't wear this jacket much. Um, I don't wear it at all. I can't lie, actually. Yeah, I don't think I've had it. But but it's in my collection. I really like it. I love the detachable belly. I love the gloves. It's downfield. Um, the thing is with these jackets. Uh, these jackets are quite weak. They like um break at the seams. But uh, yeah, what do you think of this jacket? Um, I like it. Yeah. I do like these jackets. Um, my only thing with them is, like you said, because they're a bit weak around the seams, like you can kind of see the feathers yeah, a little the bit feathers, like coming out. Yeah, feathers fall out of this quite a lot. Um, Which I don't like. That's something about downfield jackets that bothers me. Yeah. You can see the feathers. So, yeah, what are you going to give this? Oh, this, so this is supposed this is to be supposed water. To be water. Yeah. It actually says. It's, it says water repellent wool down. Build. So let's try it. And 
uh, yeah, it is water repellent. Not so much as the, I don't know if the Canada Goose was even better than that. But it does an all right job. You don't want to get caught lacking in the rain in this. It wouldn't hold up. No. Um, you, maybe you'd expect it to because it, it's one of its selling points is that it's water repellent. But I don't, it's, yeah, I don't think it's doing don't a very good job at that. Best. No, I think that's a bit cheeky of them to say water repellent in the description. Yeah, not as like a selling point. Yeah, it's, it's not the best. What, are you giving it out of 10? I like how it looks. I think it looks cool. I feel like, I don't know, I can see this in a music video, like it's that kind of jacket, it gives off that kind of vibe. For sure, for I'd sure. I'd probably give it a seven. For sure. Um, Cause I really like how it looks, but there's a couple of points dropped for the fact that it claims to be water repellent and it doesn't seem to be any more water Ooh, repellent sorry, than sorry. anything else. So. Yeah, so you gave it a seven. Mm. Cool, cool, cool. Moving on. All right, moving on. We have got a 1999, I think this is, pure metal shell in a lime green colourway. This came in grey and blue. I've got the blue version also, the non-hooded blue version. The grey one is very nice. And the lime green one is my favourite colourway. This is a size XL. So obviously it's a bit big, but what are you saying? I like the colour. I like green. Green's my favourite colour. Um, and it's a nice green. Yeah, I love the colourway on this. Uh, and it's downfield as well, so it's nice and warm. Obviously, it is too big for me. So I am searching for one in a small or a medium to go into my collection. But until I get a small or medium, I will be holding on to this. I think if you if it was your size, I think it would be like pretty good yeah, yeah this is one of my favorite jackets it's quite short actually isn't it uh yeah it's it a little is. bit short it's on the it short is. i wish this fit me i wish this fit me mm. um it's just it's too big for me i can't i can't really wear this mm. I, th I like a slightly longer line jacket on you i think if it was okay. a little bit longer have okay points. oh really mm. uh the blue version that i've got is the longer version without the hood no it does have a hood it does have a hood it's the longer version I much prefer this short version. Oh, okay. Much prefer it. Uh, what are you giving it out of 10? Let's give it the water test. Um, no, the water went straight into it. <laughs> Shit. That's rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Um, water went straight through. So, yeah. yeah. What are you giving it out of 10? I think I've got to give it like a six. Six it's not my for a 1999 pure metal show. I know that's definitely pissed a lot of you, man. <laughs> um, <Sorry. laughs> it's pissed me off. I would have given it. This would have been an eight for me, for sure. Yeah, but babe, if it doesn't look that good and it's not functional, what, like... Yeah, super rare. Super rare. Uh, yeah, moving on. This jacket here, I recently purchased off of a Facebook group for a guy called Will. Um, it's a yellow denim jacket from, this is night, uh, 2010 or 2009, I think. It's got these wicked metal buttons. Um, and yeah, I haven't, I, this is the first time I've actually put it on. Uh, I bought this thinking I'll save it for next summer, wear it next summer. I just feel like it's a real nice summer jacket. Mm. Um, yeah, what, what do you think? I like it, actually. This is, so, yeah, this is my first time wearing it, actually. Let me let me take it in. Uh, obviously, I don't think it goes with the jumper. No. White t-shirt, maybe. Yeah. A little bit lower line. Um, but yeah, I'm a fan. I like mm. it. I like it. I like it. Yeah? It looks funky fresh, very 80s. Summer vibes. Yeah, summer vibes. They're definitely getting a lot of summer vibes yeah. from this jacket. I can imagine like sitting opposite you with a cocktail and you having like a nice cold beer or something. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, nice. yeah sick. Sick. Uh, what are you giving it? I haven't seen one of these for sale before, so uh, I, it is quite rare. So when I saw it, I knew I had to buy it. It's my size. 
And yeah, I'm happy with it. I paid, I paid, uh, like, guess how much I paid? 60. I wish. I paid 140 for it. <laughs> I think I paid 140 for it, but I, th I thought that was a good price. I would have paid 200 for it. Would have paid 200 Isn't, for it. Yeah, come on. It's what? a denim jacket. Stone Island denim jacket. I still can't get my head around all this. Like, I'm, I buy a lot of clothes from charity shops, so. <laughs> um, what are you giving it? I don't feel like I can give it really many points for functionality or anything like that. Because yeah. it's denim, we already know it's not going to be waterproof. It's not going to be water resistant. It's not exactly warm. It's a summer jacket, like an over, over thing. Just, yeah. I think based on how it looks, I think you you look really cool. Tell them, tell them, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, 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 for sure. So I feel sure. like I'd give it. I feel really cool. I give it an eight, and the fact that you're bold enough to like want to wear a yellow yes. jacket, I rate that. An eight, I would agree <laughs> with that. I would have given it an eight as well. Um, and yeah, that that is all the jackets. Um, so she has CP Company one. I was not expecting that. I can't lie. Um, oh, because it fits me, and I want to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so the Navy CP, that one. In second place, we've got the Canada Goose jacket. Uh, and then what did you give this one? An eight? Either a seven or an eight. I can't remember. Uh, I think you gave it an eight. Yeah. I think you gave it an eight. So that joint, the Prada Sherling jacket uh, joint tied in third place with this yellow denim. This one you gave a seven. Uh, so the Bally jacket got a seven. Pure Metal Shell got a six. Uh, the Nike jacket got a six, as well. a six. And then in last place, we got the Montclair Pokemon jacket. I'm not happy about I was that. Say he's probably not happy I'm about not that. happy about that. <laughs> it's one of my favorite jackets. Um, but yeah. So yeah, that's everything. How did you find being in my video? It's all right. Just feel like we're having a conversation. It's an extra person in the room who yeah. doesn't speak. Yeah, um, no, so I'll try and get you more videos. I'll try to drag her on to more videos if that's what you want. If you did, if you don't like her, let me know in the <laughs> Give comments. Give this video a thumbs down yeah, if, if you, you don't, don't like me. If, yeah, if you don't like her and you don't want to see her again, then I can pattern that. Don't worry, you don't ever have to see her again. Just let me know in the comments. Like, she's annoying or whatever. But, no, um, yeah, thanks for being in the video. Thank you for um, having me. And yeah, uh, let me know you guys what was your favorite jacket what was your least favorite jacket maybe give ratings out of 10 or whatever but um yeah thanks for watching and if you could like and subscribe all of that stuff please do it's a massive help and yeah i'll make another video soon uh, let me know what kind of content you want to see safe